Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending when in the world you're coming to this webinar from. Thanks very much for joining us to hear about Day2IQ's new Captain, the cloud-native end-to-end machine learning platform. A little minor housekeeping, please use the Q&A function for any questions you might have, and we will get back to you with answers as soon as we can. And now, here is the Captain product manager, Ian Hellstrom, to tell you all about it. Ian? Welcome to the launch of Captain, day two IQ's end-to-end -end machine learning platform now generally available. Captain helps enterprises navigate the rough AI waters safely and securely. But what exactly is Captain? What problems does Captain solve and how can you too benefit from Captain's unique capabilities? Let's look at common issues with machine learning in the enterprise first. While the global spend on AI and ML was $50 billion last year, and it is expected to increase to $110 billion in 2024, the success rates of machine learning have been less than stellar. 87% of initiatives never make it to production. Such initiatives remain stuck as prototypes or one-off research projects. Sustained positive returns on AI investments elude most organizations. In fact, 55% of organizations have not deployed a single machine learning model to production. And for those that have, it can easily take up to three months to deploy a single machine learning model to production. One in 10 organizations spend even more than three months to deploy a fully trained model, even if they have already succeeded in deploying models in the past. ML in the enterprise is harder than it looks at first sight. First, the technology is fairly novel. Cloud-native machine learning platforms have only been developed at tech companies in the last five years. Second, to build a modern platform from scratch, you need to pick the right technologies from among 880 cloud-native and more than 270 machine learning tools. Since the cloud-native and machine learning stacks have evolved independently of each other, not all technologies gel well together. Third, it's easy to underestimate the impact of non-machine learning code. As little as 5% of production machine learning systems is the actual model code. The rest is glue code that is needed to make the overall process repeatable, reliable, and resilient, not to mention automated and secure. And last but not least, security and data privacy are often afterthoughts, especially when building a platform from scratch where the main objective frequently is to build and deploy a model as quickly as possible. This makes scaling up a problem, which is when organizations may actually see any returns on their investments for the very first time. Talent, although often cited as a barrier to AI adoption, is not. Experts in both cloud native technologies and machine learning are indeed few and far between. But the fact of the matter is, companies need not seek and hire these mythological unicorns. With Captain, Day2IQ intends to make world-class machine learning infrastructure accessible to enterprises. So, what is Captain? Captain is the cloud-native end-to-end machine learning platform for the enterprise. That's a mouthful, so let's break that down. It is cloud-native, meaning it runs on Convoy Day2IQ's Kubernetes distribution. It is agnostic of the underlying infrastructure, so you can run Convoy and Captain anywhere in public clouds, on-premise, in air-gapped environments, even in hybrid or multi-cloud setups. Captain is end-to-end, -end, which means it comes with everything you need to develop and deploy machine learning models. At the highest level, shown in the gray box, data scientists and machine learning specialists have a familiar environment with Jupyter that provides access to shared cluster resources, CPUs, GPUs, and of course, datasets. The three leading deep learning frameworks for Python, TensorFlow, PyTorch, and MXNet are included too, as well as a dozen or so common libraries and machine learning algorithms so data scientists can hit the ground running. Captain itself is powered by Kubeflow, an open source toolkit for machine learning on Kubernetes. This is shown in the blue box on the left. Kubeflow is a toolkit, not a platform. It sports roughly 40 components with some duplication among these. This makes it harder for customers to decide which to adopt. While it has many components, not all are stable and mature and crucial components are absent altogether. This is especially important for enterprises whose requirements regarding ongoing operations, security, cost management, 
etc. are clearer and stricter than for most research organizations. That's why, for instance, we've added Kudos Spark, our own Spark operator, and Horovod for distributed training. This is shown in the white box on the right. Distributed training for all major deep learning frameworks is also supported out of the box without Horovod, thanks to the various operators for Kubernetes. Automel is also available thanks to Kubeflow's Katib, a hyperparameter tuning library with five major algorithms, random search, grid search, Bayesian search, hyperband, and TPE. We have also included newer versions of Istio, Argo, and Knative that are available in Kubeflow itself. This is to have the latest and greatest available inside Captain and to include essential bug fixes and improve end-to-end -end security. With Captain, data scientists have all the tools needed to produce sustained returns on machine learning investments. Captain is built for success. Best of breed open source components are included and GPUs are supported out of the box. No need to install drivers or search the web for the correct Docker images. Captain gives teams all the tools they need to make data science deliver results reliably and repeatedly. Gone are the days of lone data alchemists who hide their craft on laptop with secret knowledge of how to build and serve models. Form hypotheses, run experiments, reproduce results with ease, and reuse the best components your team builds to move even faster in the future. All quick start notebook images come with Conda, Git integration, including a diff viewer that makes reviewing your code workers code pleasant, and a code formatter to ensure everyone's code looks the same. Of course, you can also supply your own highly specialized notebook images too. Most tutorials also have in-depth information boxes about common concepts in deep learning to ensure the team can leverage the full power of the technology at their disposal. These are a great way to onboard new team members. Captain is fast. A seamless user experience takes data scientists from model development to deployment within a single notebook using only Python. With Captain, you can go from prototype to production in minutes, not months. Thanks to the ability to run workloads against full data sets, data scientists do not have to downsample and run it on their own laptops. This translates into higher success rates for initiatives, faster iteration, and quicker deployments. With only modest improvements, customers can expect significant six-figure savings simply because Captain reduces the friction between development and deployment and therefore increases overall productivity. The majority of data scientists are familiar with notebooks, but notebooks are usually not conducive to production environments. Captain approaches end-to-end -end machine learning notebooks first. Everything that can and usually needs to be done outside of a notebook can also be done from within one, which means data scientists do not need to switch contexts at all. Since notebooks in Captain provide access to shared pools of resources, sentences such as, sorry, works on my machine, are a thing of the past. Workloads can easily be scaled up to multiple machines, especially with the Captain SDK. The Captain SDK is a unique and data science friendly option to train, tune, and deploy models. All that is needed is the model code, and with just a one-liner, models can be trained or tuned on multiple nodes in parallel including on GPUs, and deployed in seconds as auto-scaling and auto-healing services. No experience or knowledge of Kubernetes, Kubeflow, YAML, or Docker needed. Just Python. Our SDK bridges the MLOps chasm by making both development and deployment data science friendly. When both data scientists and machine learning engineers have the same tools and speak the same language, the collaboration is a lot smoother. And there are no wasteful handovers where many of the 87% of all initiatives mentioned earlier perish. Of course, the same scalable and elastic infrastructure is available for both development and deployment, which not only reduces friction for data scientists, but also makes it easier on infrastructure teams as they only have to manage one standard technology, Kubernetes. Let's now turn our attention to the Captain SDK, our data science friendly option to train, tune, and deploy models with ease. Most ML ops solutions force DevOps technologies onto data scientists who don't have the background to use these. 
With the Captain SDK, we bridge the gap between development and deployment by giving data scientists the same tools as machine learning engineers. That way, we reduce the friction as all members of the same team speak the same language, Python. Without the Captain SDK, machine learning on Kubernetes is very unfriendly to data scientists. A typical AutoML user story might be as follows. As a data scientist, I want to tune the hyperparameters of my model by running four experiments in parallel and with each experiment running on two machines. The way to approach this without the Captain SDK looks something like this. Write the model code inside of a notebook, if that's your preferred development environment. Build a Docker image of the model and its dependencies outside of a notebook, locally or through CI-CD. This entails a context switch. Define the manifest for Katib for tuning the model, which consists of both a Katib-specific specification, but also one for the job itself, based on the framework used. Another context switch. Then deploy the experiment from the command line with the Kubernetes cluster properly set up on your local machine. Again, a context switch. Monitor the logs to see when the experiment's done. Extract the best trials model from the logs. And finally, push that model to the registry. By now, most have forgotten what the original user story was about, right? Only the first step consists of machine learning model code and Python. The rest is an amalgamation of technologies that are not core to data science and require many context switches, which is probably why in many cases the code is handed over to machine learning engineers. This means ownership of the model is now shared or worst, unclear. Well, no more. The unique Captain SDK allows data scientists to do all these steps from Python without having to do much more than the very first step, write the model code. Let's look again at our user story and add some colors. What does this look like in the Captain SDK? As you can see, the colors map to the Python code in a very natural way. The model is a thin wrapper around the model code itself, mostly to add metadata that makes it easier to track the model across its lifecycle. The hyperparameters are specified in a human readable format. The actual tuning command contains only what is needed. Only a few import statements and the objective, which was implicit in the user story, are extraneous. No mention of Kubernetes, containers, YAML, Kubeflow, operators, kubectl, logs, or anything like it. The Captain SDK hides these complexities and exposes what is relevant to data scientists, training, tuning, and deploying models. That's how data scientists benefit from Captain. But what about infrastructure teams? Configure your cluster and install Captain by running Convoy up. It's that simple. Just hook up your identity provider and you have a multi-tenant end-to-end machine learning platform with single sign-on ready for use. That's easy on the infrastructure team and secure for the company. Infrastructure teams have the ability to run Captain on any infrastructure, including environments without access to the public internet. Detailed instructions on how to set up Captain in air-gapped environments are documented on our public documentation platform, so there are no nasty surprises. Captain is continuously tested for resiliency so that when you install it, you can rest assured it works as advertised and it scales with your organization's needs. We make sure that the glue code that makes up most of your machine learning platform works out of the box. We guarantee compatibility with the upstream though, so there's no vendor lock-in. If you do not want to rely on, say, the Captain SDK, you can use the Kubeflow native components, including in Captain. Our tutorials show both options so you can decide what works best for your organization. We also explain how to use the technologies in Quickstar tutorial notebooks that are fully tested with every commit and include all frameworks and components. There is nothing more annoying than to grab a sample notebook and have it fail due to differences in environments. That's why we make sure that does not happen in Captain. Moreover, these extensive tutorials explain not only how to use the technology, but also common concepts in deep learning that may not yet be fully known to all your team members. So they can level up quickly and without additional resources. With day two IQ's Kubernetes platform, DKP, Captain is ready for day two operations. Authentication, security, observability, cost management, scalability, and so on are all built in. 
No need to piece together dozens of components only to find out certain technologies are incompatible or do not meet your needs. If you run microservices on Kubernetes, infrastructure teams can also reduce the total cost of ownership thanks to standardization. The same infrastructure for machine learning and, say, backend services. And that's how data scientists and infrastructure engineers can benefit from Captain. Thanks to Captain, companies can turn their ML alchemy workshops into success factories that produce results again and again. Please reach out to us to embark on your machine learning voyage today. For more information on Captain, please check out these resources. Thank you. Awesome presentation, Ian. Thank you very much. And thank you all for joining us to hear it. For more information, uh, you can just go to our website, day2iq.com. That's D as in Delta, numeral 2iq.com uh, slash solutions slash captain, uh, or use the contact us feature to get somebody to talk to you directly. Again, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this presentation and uh, we encourage you to learn more about captain. Thanks.